Welcome back. So we spent most of the day with sunny to mostly sunny skies out there. And temperatures did remain uh, pretty warm for this time of year. We were into the upper 90s for most of us for highs. Average high this time of year is around 91. So this is the hottest portion of the year. We were uh, above that in terms of uh, our temperature today. Here's a look at the high temperatures. Still at 102 at Shattering. Continuing to be one of the hot, the hot spots across the state. Uh, temperature of 99 at Scotts Bluff and Torrington. Your high of 98 at Gordon and Alliance. And mid to upper 90s along the I-80 corridor. Current temperatures look like this. And we're keeping that southeasterly wind and that is keeping temperatures up with a little bit more humidity tonight. Uh, current temperature near 80, Torrington, Scottsbluff, Bridgeport and Oshkosh, mid to upper 70s at Kimball and Sydney. Shadron still at 88 degrees, lower 80s out toward the Gordon area. Now, here's the winds. Uh, most of us have winds now 10 to 20 miles per hour. There are some stronger gusts, but it is from a southerly or southeasterly direction. So uh, let's take a look at the satellite loop. A little bit of moisture with that easterly wind, especially as you approach the higher elevation. So they've got partly to mostly cloudy skies across southeastern Wyoming with some rain showers out toward the Lusk area and points off to the west. But in the lower elevations, as you make your way east, um, further east into Nebraska, mainly clear skies, but these clouds are approaching. They're going to probably make their way through during the overnight. That's why we'll say partly cloudy skies. Now, here's a look at the satellite loop. A little bit of a, cold, uh, a, little bit of a warm front as we make way uh, further north. High pressure to our south in charge. In the upper atmosphere, do have that strong southerly flow that is keeping us on the warm side. Now, this low is a slow mover. It's going to move off to the east. That cold front will be here by Sunday afternoon. That's our next chance of some significant moisture. So let's take a look at the sky cast. We're going to have those partly cloudy skies overnight, but temperatures only falling into the upper 60s. And for the day tomorrow, part of the mostly cloudy skies, uh, more clouds. Uh, tomorrow compared to today, and we have a better chance of some showers and thunderstorms, especially south of Scotts Bluff. But again, most of us should stay dry. Then for the day on Sunday, a little cooler to start. Most of us near 60 for a high temp or a low temperature, and then highs will only be into the mid to upper 80s. So there's your cool down. But a stronger easterly wind will give us the chance of some more moisture across the region. You see some storms initiating into southeastern Wyoming, and they'll move through the Panhandle as we make our way to the late afternoon and into the evening. So that's what we're looking at for a good amount of moisture making its way through and temperatures will fall back through the 70s for your Sunday evening. So here's the low moving off to the east. We're going to stay in that warm sector all the way until uh, that cold front comes through on Sunday evening and that will not only give us a chance of moisture but we'll start off an active weather pattern. We have a chance of some showers and thunderstorms on the on every day of the forecast, on the seven-day forecast. High pressure is going to work its way in. When you have a high over here, you have a cool northerly flow. So temperatures are going to be back on their way down as 80s are going to be common for the next week. Here's a look at the drought monitor, the worst of it from Cheyenne, following just south of I-80 along the Colorado border. That's an extreme drought. That's surrounded in the orange here by a severe drought that does make its way up toward Wheatland and Chug water. Scotts Bluff is actually on the moderate drought side, so is most of the northern panhandle. And as you make your way from Alliance and points off to the east, doing better than everybody else, just abnormally dry. We will see if we can get enough moisture over the next week to really put a dent in this. So we have been dry for the past two weeks. Now it's time for that pattern change. So low temperatures tonight staying mild. Just be just before daybreak, we should be into the upper 60s, uh, mid 90s for highs for Saturday and only into the mid to upper 80s for Saturday. Sunday, as we do have that chance of some showers and storms Sunday night, another slight chance on Monday, high temperatures near 90 to round out the weekend and start next week, 91 on Tuesday, but only 81 on Wednesday. We keep the daily chances of showers and storms, otherwise partly cloudy skies, and mid to upper 80s for Thursday and Friday. Angel? Thanks, Justin. Of all natural disasters, heat is a number one killer as tens of millions of Americans continue to extreme face temperatures. Experts are warning you to be careful in today's health minute. We have more.